We're a non-profit um, universal stool bank um, with the aim of uh, ensuring safe access uh, to uh, FMT. Since launching about two, two years ago, we've uh, shipped about 7,000 treatments. Um, we're shipping to over 49, uh, to 49 states and uh, to six countries. It's been an exciting time. I uh, joined uh, Open Biome about six months ago uh, after working at Mass General Hospital and before that was uh, completing my infectious diseases training in London. The poster that we presented uh, was a concerning our uh, safety uh, framework that we use at Open Biome um, and really tells the story about how we select donors um, how we process stool and how we um, ensure that there's safety throughout uh, the whole process all the way up to shipping of material. Um, in addition to that, we also uh, described our uh, adverse event workflow so that when adverse events are reported, how we investigate those uh, in depth. We've had over 6,000 um, people apply to be donors. Um, the pass rate for becoming a donor is 2.8%. There are three phases to it. Uh, first of all, there's a preliminary questionnaire where we uh, ask people very common reasons for being excluded. So things like uh, current medications, um, ask them about their, their age, um, ask them about kind of any other risk factors that we, that we commonly exclude people on. And then in the second phase, they're invited for a clinical interview, um, which takes about an hour. It's led by a physician or a clinical uh, nurse. And um, concern, it, it, we use a 109-point questionnaire um, to, that they go through. And then um, we take some vital signs, including uh, BMI, blood pressure, uh, waist circumference. And uh, if they pass that screen, then they go on to a blood test and stool test. And in the stool test, um, we look for uh, you know, common pathogens like uh, obviously C. difficile, um, uh, all the way through to rotavirus. And all in all, it's about a 30 uh, panel test. And if they do pass that, then they go on to become a donor. It's a long process, yeah, yeah. But we've got someone full time uh, doing donor screening. Um, so we have no shortage of people that are interested. So. We have this. Uh, uh, algorithm, the, uh, this framework that we use for screening donors. Um, at this conference, um, it was great to share some of our um, how we go about doing that. And um, in addition to that, we have a, a, a clinical advisory board, so uh, made up of 15 thought leaders in the field, um, from gastroenterology through to microbiology and infectious diseases, um, who we're always constantly engaged with in terms of reviewing and updating our. Um, our uh, screening process. Um, in addition to that, we have feedback from our clinical partners around the country, um, actually around the world, um, and we also publish a quarterly uh, quality and safety report as well. You know, in terms of our whole approach, it's really about being open with data and sharing as much information as possible with uh, our clinical partners and learning lessons, and we, f we see our clinical partners really as collaborators in this whole process. Because this is an emerging field, I, you know, we're still in very early days and you know, our, our aim is to really um, you know, share lessons. We're in, a, we're in a very good position at Open Biome because of our scale to really take lessons from uh, different clinical partners and, and bring them together. Um, and actually one thing that we're doing is developing a, patient, uh, uh, a physician education program um, and also for allied health professionals as well because we know that the uptake of FMT is growing and you know, we really want to um, enable physicians and, uh, and their other healthcare professionals to have access to, to information. And, and so it kind of ties back into, you know, gathering information, um, learning from that and feeding it back to our clinical partners. Within Open Biome, we have our clinical advisory board, um, 15 members who are thought leaders in this space, as I, as I mentioned before, um, from gastroenterology through to microbiology and infectious diseases. Um, but outside of Open Biome, we are, are in frequent um, contact with the FDA and uh, we uh, frequently uh, discuss our protocols with them. They have reviewed them and, um, and all the adverse events that we uh, do receive, we uh, investigate them uh, in depth with our clinical partners, but also um, report them uh, to the FDA. And, and you know, we, we, we ensure that, you know, we're going back to what I was saying about transparency and openness. Um, you, you know, we're, we have a very good relationship with our partners, but also the, the regulators. 
Many of our donors are, um, many of them are academics, many of them are researchers, professionals in, in the uh, Medford area in Massachusetts. Um, and uh, it's, it's really great. Some of them have had a, you know, a, uh, some familiarity with uh, Cedar Facile, for example. Um, they may have known a, a distant relative with the condition, uh, driven by the mission in a way. Um, and then in addition to that, the, you know, we, obviously the, the media coverage of Open Biome has uh, you know, definitely exposed people to the work that we're doing and, and has definitely brought us a lot of attention and also social media as well. For example, at this conference, um, we've had, you know, uh, partners come up to us who've been using our material back from two years ago um, and just thanking us for making the whole process easier. Um, and really that's a lot of the feedback that we get. Um, and in terms of newer clinical partners who are interested in using it, uh, Open Biome's material, um, it's just always great to have that conversation with them and, and really, you know, share lessons. Many of them tell us that they've been, uh, you know, having to prepare much of this material themselves and um, are excited by the fact that they can potentially save hours um, and also have that, you know, assurance of our uh, safety program uh, behind that as well. In terms of patients, we have, you know, it's one of the great things about working at Open Biome and, you know, we're being able to kind of get feedback from our clinical partners. Um, we have a very close relationship with them and they, they tell us all the time about, you know, patient stories, about, you know, people who've been suffering with CD for seal for years and that hasn't been responsive to treatment and have had their lives transformed. Um, so, you know, when I joined Open Biome, it was, you know, an amazing experience to, within the first few days, to kind of hear some patient stories from across the country. My other interest is in public health and, you know, as at Open Biome, we're, we're I think, having an impact on public health, um, as told by our patients and our, and our clinical partners. So. Open Biome being a non-profit, um, our aim is to really uh, take this treatment that we know works to make sure it's safe and to make sure it's available to as many people as possible. Um, so we, we charge a relatively um, small price for the treatment itself um, to ensure that most people have access to it. Um, we have a uh, close collaboration with MIT as well and um, we support a lot of research as well in this space and our aim really is to set um, set some standards around safety, set some standards around research and really to help pioneer the field as a whole, um, not just developing the, the product itself, but really thinking more broadly about what, uh, how to make this field, uh, uh, take this field forward. We're working on the physician education program at the moment um, and uh, hopefully that will encompass, uh, you know, indications for FMT, how to administer it, um, follow up, um, and, you know, really to have that accessible to all physicians who are interested in uh, using FMT. You know, when I first joined Open Biome, um, you know, I'd, I'd heard a lot about their work um, as an infectious diseases physician. Uh, this whole field is completely transforming how we think about the, uh, the human body as a, not just a, a vessel that needs to be treated and cleared of uh, you know, whatever antimicrobial pathogen it is, but actually thinking of it more as an ecosystem. Um, and so it's, it's this fascinating field that we're in. And, you know, the nice thing about Open Biome is that we're actually affecting, uh, you know, people's lives today. Um, but in addition to that, my role at Open Biome is really about safety um, and ensuring that we have the highest uh, standards um, in all of the material that we uh, distribute.